cookies out of my face, you son of a bitch. Of course, I, I, I don't think I caught the first like two or three words. Get your so cookies just like, out of just my face, <laughs> you bitch. It just starts cookies out of my face. <laughs> yeah, get your cookies out of my face, you son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a podcast all about wrestling. In this corner, an author and a black belt, Kibbles. Kibbles? What kind of name is that? Pookie the Wolf is the best. Pookie. I forgot my copies. And in this corner, Pookie the Wolf. Pookie the Wolf is one of the best. Welcome to the Kibbles and Pookies Squared Circle. Bleacher Report's like, hey... This is who thinks, this is all the contributors to this and who they think they're going to win. I'm like, I don't give a fuck. Pookie is looking for the buy-in matches. I go, who? Who cares? Who? 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 Cares. Um, the one buy-in I know about was um, the Lucha Brothers and Mark Briscoe versus... The varsity athletes and Ari Davari, which I guess is part of it as well. So Josh Woods, Tony Nice, and Ari Davari, which was just thrown okay. together literally on Rampage, where they're like, where well they've been kind of rival. I mean, like, Mark has, I mean, but the Lucha Brothers were just like, well, no, the Lucha Brothers kept well for no reason at all. The Lucha Brothers kept coming out and helping him. Yeah, but they never explained why. Yeah, and then they were like eliminating well, each the other. Fact, they're in like, the hey, we loved Royal. your we loved your brother as well. Yeah, that was about it. The expl- explanation for basically that one. is the Stokely Hathaway hook match on the buy-in, or is that Stokely Hathaway and hook match? Because remember, they were on commentary on Wednesday. They were talking about how if Hook beat Matt Hardy, he would get a match with Stokely Hathaway. I don't um, know. Or no, it's, it's not Hathaway. It's just Hathaway, isn't it? It's, uh, Stokely Hathaway, not Hathaway. It's Hathaway. Is it? Yeah, it's like, okay. Yeah, because it's... So I'm not crazy. No, no. I mean, it's up it's for debate. Subject. <laughs> <laughs> subject. <laughs> to be announced. Um, yeah, he... Um, They were talking about it on Wednesday. Like, if, if Hook won, which he did, he would get Stokely in a match. Um, but then there was, like, no other info. So I was like, is that at, in, in the buy-in? Or is that, like, like in, like, two or three weeks on... Do it on another show? Or is it on Rampage? I don't... There's no information here. I mean, uh, yeah. Maybe if I go to the the source, the hmm, source, excuse me, the source. I go to um, aw.com. So, so while Pookie is, uh, yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm just I'm just while he's up. pulling that up. I will say that I started watching Ring of Honor. Um, I'm like forty minutes, forty forty five minutes into the two hour show. Um, not impressed. Not uh, impressed at all. There, I have a lot of. I have a lot of issue with it, uh, as probably someone who is like familiar with older Ring of Honor, but not familiar with newer Ring of Honor, and um, just like the whole presentation of it and the pl- and the planning and order of it has not been great from a show perspective. Um, I will say that uh, after I texted you guys, the third match happened, and that had Zack Saber Jr. Um, that match was fucking awesome. Should have opened the show. Zack Sabres Jr. versus who? Uh, some All Heart guy that I don't know. Oh, hold on. His nickname's All Heart, though. Or mm-hmm. his thing is All Heart. Shit, I probably know who that is. It Fuck, was, I've heard that before. It was uh, it was fucking awesome match. Um, and honestly, it should have opened the show because it would have been like a really hot opener. And then you could have gone into the more like, for lack of a better term, mundane stuff. Like I, was I it, thought uh, the uh, Mark Briscoe should not have opened the show. Um, I can't think of his name. Hold on, I gotta look it up. Blake Christian or Blake Christian? Yes, yes. He's I've seen him fight Matt Cardona. I've seen him fight. He's been on uh, Dark. He's on. He's been on one uh, on a Dynamite as well. Has he? On one like he fought someone who was like obviously it was like okay well he's gonna win uh, because. Here's the other thing. Um, so, like, I, I don't know. I just have a lot of issues with the way that this is all being presented. And I'm like, I understand if you want to, like, build some stuff up. But, like, 
bro, this is the most, like, you couldn't have picked two just more mundane, regular matches to start the show with. There's no explanation as to who any of these people are. There was no hype package to start the show. Um, commentary kept talk, kept mentioning about how the Ring of Honor World Championship is going to be on the line. And um, it took them over 30 minutes to, during a different match, then finally mention that the championship match has AR Fox is the person who's challenging. Like, they're just like, the world title is going to be on the line later in the show. And that's like all they would say. And I was like, there's no graphic. There's no nothing. This is your main event. Is, it's wait, for the world championship. Hold on. This fuck? is pre recorded, right? Yeah. How that's why it doesn't make sense. It was? <laughs> that, that's why I'm like, why is there no, like, why at the beginning of the show did you not, like, intro hype package and then boom, plaster? that AR Fox versus Claudio is your main event, and then you can go into the first match. I don't understand. You know what? You know who does that really well? AEW. Yeah. They should They should take something from they AEW take something and learn. From AEW. That's crazy. I know. Well, that's why it didn't make sense to me. I was like, why the you fuck? You know are better than this. Um, you son of a bitch. And like I said, like I feel like Ring of Honor is known for having like fantastic in ring wrestling like that's kind of their thing yeah um and then they picked like the most mundane average match to start what they're calling the new uh, the new ring of honor the new era and i was like Ooh, this is not era. good this is not good mm. um uh anyway i'm done that rant we wanted to uh and, and uh, i'll probably have another rant oh, next you wanna, week you about have another, the whole show. hold on do you want to have another rant about um about uh, Brock versus almost, almost. <laughs> what the fuck, man? <laughs> they said they said supposedly because like okay, so like the thing is is like nothing is confirmed, but the, one of the articles they said came out said it's possible that a certain person came up with that idea, and we're like, well, well yeah, <laughs> if it is him, then it's 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 obvious. If it isn't, I'm surprised. Yeah. If it's not him at all, I'd be like, oh, really? What the really? fuck are they doing? Yeah, right. Like in my head, I'm like, um, I'm still, I'm still so angry. Why the fuck are we getting this match? Fucking Brock Lesnar versus Gunther. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't understand. We want Gunther. And then supposedly Brock doesn't want to work with Bray. With uh, that's not surprising. Really? Look at what the fuck they're doing with Bobby Lashley. What, I don't the understand. Dance. They did the Muscle Man dance. And then, um, and then Uncle Howdy like tried to jump him, but failed epically. I mean that that's okay, but I could I could totally see Brock being like, "No, you're not fucking putting my face up there on the Muscle Man dance bullshit." Like, I could totally see Brock being like, "No." You mean coming in, walking in with a sombrero, and and what was the other shit he did back in the uh, oh, with the yeah with the Liberace band, yeah with the ruthless, the ruthless aggression era, yeah. Ruthless aggression. Um, That's also different, right? He didn't have the ability. I, I don't know. I'm just saying. I could totally, I could totally see Brock being like, "I'm not." If fucking Vince doing tells that. me I have to do it, then I guess I'll do it. <laughs> but if not, I'm not going to. Yeah. That's just silly. Rest. This is not. This is not something silly. This is wrestling. Well, yeah. Well, I, well, it's also different. Like, like back then, Brock Lesnar could be like this. I don't want to say he can't be this like silly person now, but like he also is like a different like character than he was back then, right? Um. I don't know. Uh, all I know is I'm getting two matches that I'm um, meh. When he he, what I really want is to see Gunther. It is it, he just is upset because it's not what wrestling is to him. What his what wrestling is to him is him driving a forklift or a a, a, a some kind of machinery to flip a ring over. Nothing silly or Nothing nonsensical silly. whatsoever. Or the time he said that he was gonna <laughs> come hard at at Seth Rollins. Which is something I see all the time, and I can't escape it. When when people love to to point out the fact of people saying gay shit in wrestling, it's like, yeah, no, we know they they say stuff sometimes. He also just... doesn't care that uh, Heath Heath has kids. <laughs> yeah, he don't he don't give a shit he about your give kids. A shit about your kids. Who was that? That was was that Heath Slater. A... Yeah, Heath Slater. I don't give a shit about your kids. I don't give a shit about your kids. Fucking great. All shit. hail the suplex machine. I feel like they. I feel like they tried to do that meme. Oh, no, that's Taz. <laughs> yeah, that's Taz. 
He's Suplex City. He, he Suplex has a, City. He has a town. He has a city. A city. Sorry. Um, are they Taz, up to code? Are the are the municipal and the um the you know homeowners association? Are they up to code? I would hope so. At Suplex City, because I haven't visited there in God knows how. I long. would hope so. I mean, I know that they have a machine that lives there. Um, they do. They do. Um, Taz is a Suplex machine that does, lives there. Hold on, Taz lives in Suplex City. <laughs> yeah, what? Why wouldn't he? He's that's the why, Suplex machine. That's why Hook learns so much. Exactly. Um, I love Hook. Why do you love Hook? For no reason. I'm at the Hook point where like, awesome. I don't, I'm like, yeah, whatever. Hook is awesome. It's, I don't know. I dig Hook. I don't think they do him right, but I dig Hook. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of over it. Not not over it to the point where... It's because they're not doing anything different with it. It's just the same thing. Yeah. You only, you can only do the same thing so many times before it grows old. Well, that and he's just like, it looks like he's going to break at any moment. He just starts laughing. I feel Uh-oh. like he's going to smile. I thought you meant physically because he's so skinny. No, 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 no. I mean, like, break as in, like, comedically. He's just going to smile and, like... Because he's supposed to be, like, a badass or, like, you know, tough. But, like, yeah. he looks like he was about to, like... He's on the verge of about to, like, bust out laughing. Yeah. I got you. Even when he gets to that corner and you see that... Him just sitting there. It's just, like... It looks like he's just going to, like, pop a smile. On. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Because he could get... He could get... <laughs> oh, yeah, he The could. poon Annie that he, he could, could get. Yeah, the poon even the one woman who had his her crotch all up in his face in that one clip that I saw. Did you not see that? No. That was the whole thing. It was um <laughs> the fuck clip are you talking the about? The one clip. Okay, so the one the joke was that when he when he did uh Ethan Page's toy hunt, he was like I don't really he's like I don't really buy spend money on figures or anything like that. He's like I don't really buy stuff. I spent I you know, I saved my money. And then they cut to a clip of him at a strip club or something or some kind of club. And a woman is literally twerking, twerking in his face. Um, you never saw that clip of him, some woman twerking in Hook's face. I'm well. I I always watch the vlog, so I assume I've seen it. But for some you, reason, I don't remember. You've probably it. seen the clip of him saying he saves his money, but you probably never seen the the meme of him saying it and then oh. cutting to. I thought you meant it was in the. No, no, no. no okay, no. that was before because it was okay. before the whole thing. That where, makes sense. Why I haven't seen because he was thinking about buying a Snoop Dogg figure, and he's like, I do no, remember. That. I don't. I do remember. I'm gonna save it, and then he's like, "I save it on use on something better." Yeah, and then people were making the meme of, "This is what he uses it on." Yeah, not like not like us schmucks who like I had to, I had to text my wife last night, and I was like, "I'm not allowed to buy anything else until (laughs) until we go see the acclaimed." Yeah, right. I can't spend any more money. That's what I was saying. Um. Um. Uh, okay, should we should we do the the match card? Yeah, was there is there anything else that was WWE wise that was annoying us? Uh, annoying? I don't think I watched anything that annoyed me this week. Um, although I didn't watch a lot. <gasps> Becky um, Lynch and Lita are the tag champs. They are the tag champs. I, don't know if that I forgot that anything. happened this week. <laughs> Did you? I felt like that happened like three <laughs> weeks ago. So mon- Monday I was home. God, dude, thank God we didn't do it last week. I would have been. Telling you I wasn't going anyway. Because after the next day, I had a st- the stomach bug. Oh, shit, dude. Oh, my God. Stay the fuck away. It was terrible. You stay over there. It was terrible. It was the worst. The uh, There has been a stomach bug going around. And I told, I was going to be like, well, even if, I was I remember thinking on Sunday, I was like, even if, I would have told Kibbles anyway. I was like, no, I can't. I can't even get over there. That's a good idea. I can't do if that. If you got a stomach bug, you stay the fuck away from me. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they're the tag champs. Trish Stratus came out. You think this um goes to a six woman tag team match at the WrestleManias? The WrestleMania. The WrestleMania. The WrestleMania. I'm all Wrestle WrestleMania is going to be exciting, but at the same time, I'm like, mm, meh. It feels very uh, what's the t- what's the term? Commercialized. Well, I feel like when we're gonna when we're gonna be in it, it's not gonna be fun, but the matches might look good. I think Cody and I think Cody and um, Roman will be good. It still seems like they're gonna do the tag title match with Sammy and Kevin. I think that'll be really good. Yeah, but um, I'm saying like when we're in it, I'm gonna be like, huh. I okay. I hear what you're saying. I hear what you're you know, saying. it's very like I have no interest in. They have a good way of reeling Almost you same. in, and then you watch it and you go, "Eh, sorry." Mm. Like even with um, what was the other one? Royal Rumble, I was excited for, and then I was like, "Yeah, it was all right. It wasn't too too amazing, but it was all right." 
I yeah, think because they st- they stay pretty like on track with what they're doing. Like you can kind of see what they're doing like a couple months like down the road. Yeah, but yeah, I got you. They have too much importance on titles too. Championships. But speaking of titles, speaking of titles. one of the biggest ones for Revolution is one that's not even got a title involved. They keep building this one up, and I'm like, I really don't care about it. I know people care about it, but I'm not a fan of Hangman Adam Page. Or John Moxley, really. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of either of them, but they're just fucking selling the hell out of this thing, and it's not got no title involved whatsoever. Hey, man, it's it's just a uh, it's a grudge match. I will say that uh, dude John Moxley sold the shit out of this match on that promo that when they were promo, like, last yeah. and it's he's just fucking bleeding there was a onto point the where stairs. Blood was in his eye, and he was just like his eye was just closed, like just like looking at the camera without you know just one eye. Yeah. It was gross. I will like there was so much blood in it that he's like, I'm not even gonna bother opening it. Forget it. <laughs> yeah. Um that promo was fire. I was like Yeah. They showed he, it again on Friday. Okay. He when he was talking, I was like fully engrossed in what he was saying. Like I didn't give a fuck about anything else. I was yeah. like, I just want to watch this promo. You have red on you, sir. I mean you're important right now. Yeah. No, that was that was a fire promo. Yeah, it was really good. I, I like I said, I'm not too excited about either of them, but it, I mean, I'm sure it'll be like, oh am, shit, they're beating the fuck out of each other. Yeah, I'm very interested in the fact that um, that either man could win this match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's a thing. Like, I, like, that's another thing why I like about the, not having titles involved. It doesn't feel like you can kind yeah. of sway it a certain way. Yeah, like I'm not going into this being like, well, clearly John Mox is going to win. Like I could totally say Hangman so, Page beating him real quick. Before we go over each one, yep. you look right there at all the ones that have titles involved. Is there anything that would be better without the title? Because I thought right away, the first one I thought of, that would be way better even if, if the titles were involved because it does it sways the, the, the predicament, is fuck it, those trio titles. I would love to see that regardless if it was for the titles. Yeah, yeah no, that would be good. Um even without the championships, they have the trios title. So, like, I I don't think it necessarily makes sense to have the elite in a tag match on a in a trios match at the pay per view, and it's not for the trios titles. Like, it but doesn't make sense. Them, and, and, I and think it it's could like so hype regardless. Oh yeah, and it could, and it does kind of sway the decision of the match. But um, and you know how I feel about the elite. I'm not like huge on them, but like yeah. the two of those two teams together, I'm like, yeah, I want to see how this turns out. Yeah, no, that'll be a banger. Ooh, a banger. Yeah. I um I wouldn't be surprised if that's the show opener. Well, you, open, sh- you open up hot. The show buy-in, there's only one. <laughs> According to what I can see, there's only what one can you say? buy-in for the for the buy. And that's the trios varsity athletes versus er, and Ari Davari versus the Lucha Brothers and Mark Briscoe. Official prediction. Lucha Brothers and Mark Briscoe. Yeah, absolutely. That's, I mean... In an okay match. Yeah, it's going to be, again... It's, all, it's also the buy-in. Like, you can't fucking, like, have a crazy banger in the buy-in. So, like... I mean, it's going to be good with the Lucha Brothers regardless. Yeah. But the, um... I think the concept of the... Riding that J-Wave right now. I don't think... Because, like, the, the, the thing I keep saying whenever I see Mark do promos is, like, what are you guys doing with the Ring of Honor tag time titles? Like, you know? Yeah, I wonder if they're going to, like... It, well, so I assume that in... Whether it's this episode or, like, in the very near future, they will address that because the next Ring of Honor pay-per-view is the end of March. Uh, so I would assume that we in the, in the next, what, three, four weeks that we'll kind of hear kind of what the plan is whether they're just gonna like strip him of it and have two other teams fight or if he'll like find a partner to defend the championships with um i feel like the best way to do a con like tournament yeah so i i would assume that we'll hear something here in the next three weeks I mean, we're not sure kibbles hasn't finished ring of honor yet. i haven't finished ring of honor yet i'm like 45 minutes into the two hour show oh a two hour show yeah wow I honestly, I thought it was only going to be one hour. Um, and then, of course, based on everything that's going on, I'm like, you probably could have made this one hour. Um, <laughs> he just, doesn't like just it. Just based on what I've watched so He's far. He's saying he doesn't like it. 
All right, so the next one I have up is Christian Cage versus Jack Perry in the final burial. Is that even a match or just a fight just or what? Because they the final burial. Okay, because it seems like it's maybe we'll get a style. It's not of, even on my list over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's why I was like, I wanted to see the buy-in, so I knew I had all of them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure if this is an actual because like they haven't they didn't announce it as like a match or anything. Yeah, I don't know. So like, I'm like, is this just like going to be a fight? Um, I assume it'll be a fight. So I don't know. I mean, it is on the AEW website for Revolution. Okay, it's on the official AEW website. So it is it is a match. What kind of match, I have no clue. I would assume... Like a casket I don't know. match? Don't know. Christian wins? Because the rivalry keep going. If Jungle Boy wins, is the rivalry over? But also, if Jungle Boy loses again... I feel like just, Do we want to keep watching this? Yeah, I was going to say, maybe just finish this up. Finally finish this. Jungle Boy, then. Yeah, Jangle Boy. Jangle Boy Jangle, is the winner. Jangle, Jangle Boy for the win. Jangle Boy for the win. Jangles. Bo Spe- Jangles. Speaking of which, we haven't had the FTW uh, uh, on the pay-per-view, which is upsetting. Yeah. The FTW title needs to be, you know, it needs to be, you know... You know there's something we're missing here as far as... Um, TBS Championship isn't on the pay-per-view either. That's true. You'd think you'd want to get just small wins here and there. Well, keep building yeah. that up. Uh, well, see, that's also the thing, right? Like, I knew there was going to be a bunch of stuff that wasn't going to be on the pay-per-view because you have a 60-minute Iron Man match. Yeah, that's true. Which then, if you then include entrances and introductions, is going to be closer to probably an hour and 10 minutes. Yeah... So you do like the promo video package. Both men come out. The do the uh, Josh was it Josh Matthews? No, Josh Roberts does the introductions, yeah. and then they actually start the match, and then that's an hour, and then yeah, you're gonna be like an hour and ten minutes, hour and fifteen. You gotta give the people what match. they want. You gotta give the people what they want, which they took out a couple days ago. But we'll get to that. So I. I I was trying to decide if that if they did that because it was supposed to be them and they're legitimately injured or one of them's legitimately injured. I mean, I think it's about time that the best friends got a tag team title. Yeah, but I'm wondering if if Orange Cassidy and Danhausen like that seems so random to me. And I was like, did they put them in there I because th- it was supposed to be the best friends? This is what I think. Hurt? This is what I think. I think that what they did was when they. Because you think about who's been fighting each other for forever. Yeah. The Ass Boys and the Acclaimed have been a constant thing over and over again. Someone who's been messing with the Acclaimed constantly is Jeff Jarrett and Jay Lethal. And then someone who's been fighting with Jay Lethal and all them is the best friends. And that whole, even back when we were in, when we were in Philly and we went. Yeah. It was Samoa Joe versus Trent Beretta and they ended up coming out and interrupting and trying to beat up, and then the best friends came out and helped out because, you know, Trent was there. But I think it's just a concept of these are the teams that are constantly fighting. I mean, the only the only thing that we haven't seen constantly is the gun club versus the best friends or anything like that. Yeah. Well, but then you'll also have Dan Howes and That's what I mean. Like, you take Dan Howes and Orange Cassidy, the two main people that they'd want. I think that they that Tony Khan thinks... Well, I think people would want to see them over the best friends and just go, yeah, they're injured or whatever. I mean, maybe one of them is injured. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But I That's, was that was that was my that was like my assumption when like it felt like it was very like thrown together. That it was Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy, and Orange Cassidy had also defended his tight his championship earlier in the show. Yeah, and so I was like, maybe one of them is really injured, and they had to kind of like throw this together last minute. That to... could be the case because I believe they had that the Ass Boys attack. The best friends when um on that Friday after. Yeah. Just thought. So I don't they, know. one of them could have got injured during the Battle Royale thing and then It's pa- possible. Possible, yeah. Exactly. Also bring uh, also AEW, don't tell me that that it's one minute intervals for these entrances and then don't even come close to fucking like sticking to that. 
It was like Royal Rumble it. all up in that. Bit. There was one point where like a team came out legit 20 seconds later, another team was coming out. I was like, that wasn't even close to a minute. Like, are you serious? Maybe they meant 20 minute intervals. I was, like, second intervals. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Um, so also we talked about the, 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 the Christian Cage jungle, jangle boy. Um, we also have Chris Jericho versus Ricky Starks. Are you kind of fatigued from this? Yes. I am too. Yep. I'm very much fatigued. JSA is really easily able to make me fatigued on stuff. Yeah. Because you kind of just go, this person over per- persevered, and then he gets beat up. And then he's like, oh, this person persevered again. Yeah, there wasn't really up. anything like special about this or whatever. Um I like that the JSA is banned from ringside for this match. Um, I feel like it started out like really cool with the whole action Andretti thing, and then like the Ricky Starks got the pin and they put him through the table, and like I thought that was cool. I also I also this started really hot, and now it's just kind of like yeah, whatever. I also like the bromance between Sammy and Danny Garcia, but like you have, like you have two point oh. Which I know they haven't been called that in forever, but 2.0 is not being used at all either, and they're hilarious. Yeah. Um. Did you Did you see the uh, Jericho almost uh, Jericho trying not to laugh? Um. During the promo when they were like, "Absolutely this, absolutely that," and then uh, Hager gives, "Yeah, absolutely, you like this hat." Yeah, and Jericho you. Jericho tries so hard not to laugh. You sent me that, and I was. He I fucking. Really, I think I missed it the first dying. time it happened. I did miss the first time it happened. I was like, "This is great," because he almost busts out and just starts breaking. Yeah, like was really much. obviously too. It was too much. That, um, I th- I think was my, it this week that they were chanting "fuck your hat." <laughs> they might have been. Forget I if think it was so. this week or last week, but they were chanting "fuck your hat" to the, Jake. The concept, um, like th- there is, there are so many times. I don't think they use it enough, but uh, Matt Menard, you want to taste, or who wants to taste, that yeah. catchphrase is something I say all the fucking time. Really? Like, I'll walk through the house and go, who wants to fucking taste? Just real loud like him. I like uh, I like when Cool Hand Luke takes out the, and, you, and it's like, they always freak out because they think it's a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just a comb. Well, it's just a comb. I love that. That's what I mean. You I should be using bit. those guys as being like the the goons and getting destroyed. Did you see him on on Wednesday? He was hiding under the ring apron, like yeah. clear as fucking day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was fucking hilarious. He was like on the ring steps with the with the apron pulled over him, so it was clear as fucking day he was yeah. over there. That was hilarious. I feel like they should use those more, where like actually have a group or like a a set rank for them, like you know have have. Jake Hager be the muscle. Have have Danny and and Sammy be the the two, you know, right and hand, right and left hand. Have have Matt, yeah. Have have uh, Matt and was it Angelo or whatever the, their new names are, which by the way don't need anymore because there's no more Matt and Jeff somewhere else. There's just a Matt. So when not having a Matt and a Jeff, just call them. I just so but what if, frustrating. But what if what if Jeff comes back? Well then, I guess you have to do it again. Listen, the Comes point is, back. my point is, is that have those two as the goons, and just have them be like the squash people, because they can at least be humorous. I love them more than anybody in the JSA, because they're so fucking funny, because they're just yelling stuff, just yelling stuff that doesn't make any sense. Like some of the 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 control center videos for YouTube, when they do like a promo for them, it's just them just yelling stuff, and it's just still funny to me. Yeah, they are they are definitely the two like most entertaining members yeah. of the JSA. I like the 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 thing with Sammy and and Danny where it's just like the Sammy tries so hard to just be his his best friend and Danny's like stop stop touching me. Like, yeah, there's times that's that's hilarious, but like and like you know you have Jake with the hat, you have a a premise going here where you know you could yeah they're sports entertainers. Yeah, you could have a thing with like. Sammy getting like way too into to to being his best friend to the point where you make Ty involved, where she's just like, "Why are you so invested in this guy?" Yeah, you could do so much with this. It's just, just I feel like it's just them coming out to beat someone up. You're not giving them all enough time to just kind of like be a thing. Yeah, 
which is why I'm fatigued Sports. from it. Entertainers. Entertainers. Do we even do that anymore? Uh, I think so. Not in promos, but I think it still plays before the music. Right? Yeah. Okay. I can't think of it. Like, I couldn't think of it. Have I heard that recently? Yo. 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 Listen. Listen. Um, we're not there yet. We're not there yet. Next but women's. Yeah, women's. Uh, I do want to throw something out there because like we talked about Wednesday. Yeah. How the ahead. fuck did somebody not fucking die in that ladder match? Jesus Christ. Oh, my God. I was watching They it. took so many fucking dangerous as shit bumps in that match. There I was, was like, oh, some, I legit was like, someone's going to die. Someone's going to die in this match. There was someone, someone who, was it, um, who was it that landed a certain way? Who did Sammy there jump were, onto? Action? Outside the, uh, you talk about the one outside the ring when he yeah, flipped he and he the, the hit the ladder. Yeah, enough. that one it just looked like I I swear action looked like he had that face like I just shit myself. Yeah, like the, well there was another one when what's his name like shooting star pressed onto the ladder the the Mexican guy we've never seen before. Yeah, who's, what was for that about in this match? <laughs> I once again I did I once again because I you know Wednesday I was watching in the beginning and then when that came up I was at the point where I was working on stuff so i muted it and i was like wait who the fuck is that guy everyone else i'm like oh i know all these people and i was like who the fuck is that guy i like that i I texted you and said are they not doing the revolution match the day before or the week before and then of course they're like we're doing the revolution ladder match match. but it's Uh, on um, wednesday yeah yeah no they they said multiple times during the match that it was his dynamite debut and i was like why is this guy in this match i mean he was awesome but i was also like Storyline wise, the, why is this guy in this match? He did the walk on the rope thing, like uh, he Ray did it like Phoenix, f- but four he did or five it the times the whole way instead yeah. of just doing like a kick. Yeah, he did it a couple times, um, which was super impressive. He was um, fun. There was another one where uh, I forget who it was. Did the like the Phoenix like turn with the suplex thing, and like they like partially hit the ladder on the way down, um, and their foot got like caught. I forget who it was. Was it Sammy and Sammy and somebody? Might have been, because they like turned and did it, and the dude's like half of his back hit the ladder, and he rolled off this way, and and his, and leg, his leg, leg like got like, caught. Like, yeah, as he was, went I down. I think it was action, and or was like, it was Jesus Christ. Shit, dude, I can't even remember who was in that goddamn match. Besides, I, there's like four of them. Four of them I remember. And well, then, Powerhouse was in it. Okay, I remember. Won. I remember him. Action Andretti. I remember him. The Luchador. Okay, Sammy. Yes, those are the four I remember. Uh, Eddie Kingston. Oh, and um, Ortiz was in Ortiz it. Ortiz was in it. They fought and went to the back. Kakeshka was in it. K- Kakeshka, yeah, he was because in it they too. kept because they kept big meaty men slapping meat him and Hobbs. Fuck yeah, yeah, he was like, I hope he goes into to that because that'd be cool. I wouldn't mind either of those guys being TNT champs. Yeah, and, yeah. Um, Powerhouse Hobbs. I think I that think. was everybody that was in the match. But there were there were a number of spots where I was like, "This is dangerous. This is but really was, fucking dangerous." But it was a good match. It was a good match. <laughs> it was really fucking dangerous. <laughs> but it was a good match. I was like, I was like, I'm gonna log on to uh, cage side seats tomorrow, and somebody's gonna be injured. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yep, so and so is. Uh, we have we have Powerhouse Hobbs has the 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 ring, but unfortunately, uh, he cannot perform or use it right away because he's injured. Yeah. The, so the weird thing with so the weird thing with having this not at the pay per view is then like they had Joe on commentary and then they had to like sell us that next week Joe next week the champ is fighting Hobbs but then we had to care about the pay per view match with Wardlow so Wardlow had to come out for like no reason um so that was like the weird thing with not having it at the pay per view because otherwise like it's it's cool right you have it at the pay per view. And you're like he he wins, and then the so other person weird. wins. They fight on Wednesday. It was a weird. Anyway, we'll, I feel, we'll keep going. I feel like I went into a coma, and that coma is Darby Allen having the TNT title because we were here already. Yeah, we were here already with the three of them already with Hobbs. I was thinking that Wardlow and Samoa Joe. Samo, Samo, Samo Joe? Samo Joe? Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe. I feel like I was in a coma during Darby Allen's reign, and then woke up and went. Oh, good. They're all still fighting for the TNT title. Yeah, he was champ for about what four weeks, five weeks, tops. Yeah, and then the weirdest person, then then the weirdest person to take it from him was the guy who he originally took it from. Yeah, which is fucking weird. He was like, "Here, hold this for a little bit. I'll be yeah, back to get this. it. Hold take my care beer. of take care. Yeah, take care of my child for a little bit. I'm gonna be back in about a month. Yeah, 
but it still had the TV title. Did yep. he do that on Ring of Honor at all? Where he gave it to someone for four <laughs> weeks and then came <laughs> back and so. picked it back up? I don't think so. Thanks for holding this for me, big guy. Yeah. Um. Uh. Ruby Soho. Ruby Soho. Soraya. And Jamie Hayter. Jamie Hayter. This is the thing with all these women in this, and it may be because I, I've, I've... All these whammon? All these whammon. I respect the whammons, but my thing is, is that there's so many whammons involved with this situation that I almost forgot who was the women's title or women's champion. Who was the women's title? Who was the women's title? <laughs> <laughs> they all have the woman title. They're all considered women. Mm-hmm. They have that title of whammons. Mm-hmm. But I forgot who was champion. And it's, that's... But it's Jamie Hayter. That breaks my heart. It's your favorite. I love Jamie Hayter. Yeah. She's, How could you forget that? She is my... F- I would say my favorite heel. Although she's not a heel right now, which is weird. Oh, she's... Yeah. Her, she's her and Britt have fully turned face. Soraya did a nice and Tony. Rotate. Or, yeah. No. And I, they pulled it off perfectly, too. Like, yeah. That no, was it really, went real well. Really well. Like, oh, right. Wait. They were, they were bad. Yeah. I feel like this is the match where we get... I feel like this is the match where we get Ruby being like I am the face and like maybe we get uh um what's her name turning heel uh hater uh, uh kendo stick yeah that <laughs> this doesn't help the podcast we're just pointing we're to a just picture pointing at a picture of uh, Hikaru of, uh, Shida, Shida. I don't We're know pointing why I to a picture of Hikaru Shida up on in the in the one corner of his room. Yeah, I kept forgetting, which doesn't was, help you. It was weird because they had like this whole thing with Shida where they were like turn turning heel, but Shida didn't agree with it. And in my head, I was like, I said to you, I said on the podcast, I was like, I think this ends or not ends, but I think a, a twist in this story will be Shida turning heel and and siding with Saray and Tony Storm. Um. So maybe this happens at the pay per view. I guess the question is, do they want to get do they want to get the heat and put the title on Soraya? I could see them doing that. Maybe. Like Sheeta comes out, costs Jamie Hader, Soraya gets the win. But if so, you have to keep you have to keep Soho in there because there's a reason why you injected her into the situation. Right. And you need to keep her there. Because don't just use her as like a middleman yeah. for the time being. Yeah, because that would be stupid. I would be like, "Oh, she's back to doing normal rampage stuff or whatever." She's yeah. not doing anything again. That, that's why I'm thinking, like, based on where this, based on where the story is, um, Jamie Hader doesn't win. I think either Soraya wins the championship because somebody interferes and she's it, and then you run with that heat, or Ruby Soho wins the title, and you keep the like story going that of like, separate from the title. You're saying? No, I'm saying. Ruby wins the championship, and the whole thing kind of continues. But now the champion is the person that is not either group is not in either group, and then eventually she has to pick a side type thing. So homegrown or uh or a veteran thing. Who who um I'm sorry. I guess the big question is who the hell cares? Because I certainly don't care about which side you're on or where you came from. I. Th- doesn't for one work. I think a hard. I think a hardcore AEW fan who doesn't well, like care okay. about WWE probably would. Um, but the concept of this being something, it feels very pushed onto us. Where it's just like, yeah. oh, I'm from I'm from the other company, and I'm I'm blah blah blah, and 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 then you know Jamie and Britt going, well, we're homegrown stars, and we're. It's just like, I really don't care about this situation. Yeah. You really are better off just having them bad bad guys. Yeah, I wouldn't. Storm and Soraya. I wouldn't be surprised if part of this whole thing kind of happened because Paige was cutting the promos with Baker and the crowd started kind of switching. So then they like they felt like they needed to give Soraya a reason to be a heel. And so that's kind of the direction that they decided to go. It just hit me, and you know it would be fucking great right now. What? If instead of Ruby winning, or if Soraya wins, you know it would be great to come help her out and win? Athena. Because she's yeah. also another 
WWE person right. and, and a heel right now and right. a um well so that's Ring of Honor women's champion right well that's partially where the Ruby thing comes in because like Ruby is a former WWE person which is kind of why Saray and Tony are like yeah, yeah. and but, but then she's like but I don't want to be with you guys because of what you stand for and what you do yeah and then you have someone who's already a bad guy and from WWE you could just use her and that would be perfect yep and that would be a good fucking Swerve for a way for uh, Saray to win it. Yeah. And, um, well, yeah, that would also be like if you want to continue down the path of like homegrown versus whatever. Um, I, I think part of the reason I, I had seen like maybe Shida was like that would be a big twist. And then plus you could also then say like, oh, see, th- then they can say things like, oh, see, look, Shida, like realize that we are the veterans and that we have a lot to teach her. And she's mm-hmm. like, like, um, I don't want to say bowing down, but I can't think of another word. You know what I mean? Like, she's, like, siding with... Submitting. Submitting. Um, So, like, it... It just has... Like, it it adds another layer to the story where, like, instead of just trying to pick off all of the people who are ex-WWE, now it could also become, like, a... Oh, well, we're teaching her how to be better, and you other women should be with, with us because we can teach you the real ways to, you know, make money and be a star and That's all that stuff. That's a thing, too. They're not really doing a teaching thing. They're just being like, oh, you're all yeah, a Yeah, but they losers. could they could go in that direction yeah, yeah, is what yeah. I'm saying. It would add another layer to it, which is why I think it would it would be better for the story overall if Soraya won the title because Sheeta helped her win the title because you could add a different layer to, okay. the, to the story. Otherwise, you're just continuing down. We're ex-WWE type thing. Did you watch but, I don't um, know. Did you watch Athena yet for the thing yet? On ROH? Yeah. No. Okay. No, no. Uh she had not been on the show yet. Okay. Well, she uh, super excited this week. She liked my tweet. Anyway, uh she oh, retweeted she it too. Oh, she nice. retweeted it. Nice. I I joked about the whole um uh joke from Family Guy Nature you scary. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it was Athena you scary. She liked it and retweeted it. Anyway, nice. Moving on. Sorry, enough about me. Let's talk about the who wins war Joe. Texas. Oh, sorry, that was next on my. Uh, Let's talk about that one actually. Because yeah. I feel like we're talking who about who wins that war Because we did talk about it a little bit already. Um, I think. I think. Um. I don't know. <laughs> Here's a real question: No matter who wins, does does Hobbs stand a chance of winning on, on Wednesday? This is the thing. I think. So I think Wardlow would be the that makes sense. By the way, I think we should go at the end, just go over and just say our our names, our our winners. By the way, just going mm-hmm. over it completely at the end. Okay. Not that we're not going to say it here. Yep. Um, sorry. Uh, the, the Wardlow I think would win, and I think he will fight Hobbs, but not lose to him. I think it would make too much sense to have Hobbs take it from him because it's like you have him come back, win it. And then I think it would continue to be a rivalry and Hobbs would eventually get it from him. But I don't think it will be a, a rivalry that would be, uh, short. I feel like we're going to win and keep it for a little bit before giving it to Hobbs. Okay. Yeah. I was wondering with ring of honor TV starting up, if, uh, that's entirely why I would. If Warlow takes the title, Joe kind of becomes just a ROH talent. Yeah. Who it's knows exactly? Texas Death. Texas Death Match. Texas. Girl, get death. in my truck. We're going to talk about that match. Texas Death Match. This is hard. I, is this just Last Man Standing, right? Yeah. Okay. This is hard. I, I legit have no idea who's going to win this match. I feel like Hangman. I just feel like Hangman Adam Page would win. If Hangman wins, do they, do he's got to be next for so do you Do you think they keep going with... I mean, that would make sense, too, because then we've already seen Moxley versus yeah. MJF. Yeah, if Moxley wins, I don't see him going for the championship again. I see something... I see So, I see Hangman winning and him going for the championship. If they keep doing this, though, could you see... I feel like I'd really want to see a a BCC versus Dark Order. Ooh. That would be fun. Because they're like still that. doing it with Yuta and, and K. 
Castillo and yeah, and you know the, that would almost be. I don't mean to be like that, but I'm almost more interested in like I wish this it was a BCC Dark Order six man tag on the show instead eight man of a, tag you could do. Or do you mean like the? Oh, you, you mean do an you tag? mean you mean a, a a different match, other than the death match? Yeah, because eight man would be, uh, Silver Reynolds Uno, Hangman, and then. Oh shit, you're right. There's no other third, fourth person for the. Technically, it's Daniel Bryan, but yeah. they've like Daniel Bryan. Well, that's what I'm saying. When when the match when this done. is over, do you think they could do something where it's the four against four? Probably not. Yeah, they probably won't. Do it, that. Daniel Bryan's me, gonna do something. To me, thing. it desperately looks like they're making BCC a heel group, and um, I hated that with the orange thing. And Brian Danielson is not. I was so it's mad not at a heel. Claudio. I was like, what are you doing, dude? They're best friends. Leave them alone. Yeah. Let him give him a uh, hug. It's bullshit. Anyway. It, I mean, it. to me, it just desperately looks like they're making BCC a heel group. I don't see Brian Danielson being a heel. I think that's the reason why he has not been in any interviews, any backstage, anything. Like, they don't come out to help him when he's getting beat up. Like, there's well, he has, nothing. He has... Um, he had well, yeah. That would make it really difficult to to play B- MJF as the heel if he had his friends. I feel like they let him do his own thing, but I think they could do that with the f- the four versus four. I think it's still they could because I think people like the Dark Order and Hangman and Page regardless. Like they like both groups. If they did, okay. So if they did a four on four, they would have to do like a Brian Danielson is like. Guys, what's wrong with you? Why are you being such a dick, Claudio? Type thing. You think so? Because he Claudio's still comes out of the dick. He still comes out of the heel tunnel, doesn't he? Who? Uh, Brian Danielson. Does he? Because he doesn't want to ever admit that he's a good guy. Like, even when he first um, started, he said, "You know, I'm still coming out of that that left tunnel." So, I mean, I guess they don't have really tunnels anymore. So, I I forgot that they do mm-hmm. the tunnels. I I could see him being. Not a like heel, like bad heel, but like just not trying to be the good guy. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he wants to fight. They want to fight, and then and and Dark Order has picked a fight with these guys, and they're ready to fight because they're, you know, yeah. One group wants to fight because they're hungry. The other group wants to fight because they love the fight. They're forged in combat or forged whatever the fuck. Combat. Forged by combat. Forged by um, combat. I don't know. I still feel like instead of this Texas death match, I would want to see a trios match. Yeah. Um on this card in particular. But I mean regardless, that's Hangman is who I, I'm going for. Yeah, I'm just yeah, saying I'm say afterwards hangman. they could do some really fun stuff with that. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go hangman. So we'll do uh the trios tag and then world. Because we haven't talked about trios yet. I mean, not in depth, at least. Yep. Because Fun match. I think it's gonna be great. It'll be it'll be awesome because all the Beach. trios matches that have been happening since the elite have come back have been fantastic. I enjoy all of them. They're all great matches between them and Top Flight and and the Lucha Brother or the Death Triangle, uh, Top Flight and Ar Fox, um. Other teams that I can't think of right now. It'll be a fantastic match. It'll be fantastic. Um, the elite win. I honestly don't see the House of Black winning. Yeah, I don't see at them all winning either. I'd love for them to win, but I don't see them winning. Yeah. Um, but I think it's gonna be a great match regardless. I think the thing that really interests me is the contrast from the silliness of the elite to the House of Black's serious just aggression Mm -hmm. they're they're you know uh flips and dives and shit i feel like it's such a thing of like are we gonna see that because of who they're fighting this time around because like there's there's always these these routine maneuvers that the elite go through there's the there's the um you know the flips over the legs and the Mm -hmm. and the jumping out of the rings and the and all the different stuff and the kicks and and the different other kicks are the throwing someone at someone else like a tombstone and then kicking their legs out from under them. They did that to what Aussie Open the other yeah. the other week. 
Um, it's just a a thing of like I feel like it's very routine on how they do things, and I'm very interested in the contrast between the two groups. But yeah, I see Elite winning anyway. But to, the oh, go ahead. Did tag say, team championship. I was gonna say that as well. Um, we already talked about why they're d- doing that, right? Why they're p- putting those teams together. Yep, yep. Um, so <laughs> I remember when this initially was announced or whatever, uh, the battle royal thing, and you were, I think it was you, were like, why? What about the acclaims or whatever? Like, I thought it was like we just when the guns won, we assumed that, that they would have like a regular rematch at the at the uh, at Revolution. Yeah. Uh, and then I was like, yeah, but uh, last year, I forget if they did it the year before, but I know they did it last year for um, Revolution. They do these like Revolution Battle Royals. And um, I think the last two years they did a triple threat for the tag titles where it was like the winner of a regular Battle Royal and then the winner of the of the Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Casino Royale tag team. Yeah, Casino Royale tag team. And then those guys would get the the championship match. Uh, this time they just were like, oh, well, since we just lost, we're going to throw our names into the hat uh, or throw our team into the match. Um, honestly, I think um, it's because the acclaims are super over and they want them on the show, uh, but this is a multi-team match, so that way the guns can keep the championships without having to pin the acclaimed. Yeah, it almost feels like two teams against two teams. Do we get Daddy asks betray yet, or is this still not? Would that be more shocking? It would be shocking, um, because it hasn't happened yet. I don't know that it's going to happen, and if it does happen, they need to have a good reason for it because the opportunity to have him, the opportunity that made the most sense to have him turn on them, has already passed. So, like, if he turns on them. There needs to be like a really good reason why he didn't do it before and why he's choosing to do it now. Well, the situation like when they got the tag team title shot was because of Daddy S. He was the one who was like, "Yeah, you're on. We're gonna fight you." Right. And it's like they're like, "Wait, what? We don't, we don't want to do that." Unless it was just a swerve to get people thinking that that was gonna happen. Like, if they're gonna get idiots like me to think that 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 was the situation. Well, that's why I'm saying if 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 Daddy S turns on them now. What's the and AEW is usually really good about this. Like when somebody turns, there's a logical explanation and it makes sense mm-hmm. as to why they turned. So like, what is the logical conclusion that comes from him turning on them now as opposed to why didn't he turn on them before? I mean, I'd assume that during the tag keep title match, fighting them. But if they're not going to keep fighting them, then yeah, it probably wouldn't happen. Right. Like I don't want him to swerve just for this. I, no, I don't no, want no, him no, to no. turn just of for the sake not. of the swerve. I want it to make sense, and the time for it to make sense is past. So, like, you got to give me some reason that makes sense as to why the, he didn't do it before, but only, he does it now. The only reason I see him doing it now is to keep the rivalry alive. Have some added reason. Exactly. Yeah. But that's, like, that's a, purely on. It, purely on circumstance of if they continue with the acclaim, right? That that would be well, a that's way also to not keep a reason. People. I need a reason why his character turns on them. What do you mean? Why did why would that like ask? a depth way? Like I'm not cons- well. No, well, they're okay. his sons. Okay, but why didn't he do it when he came out during the world tag title match and had the opportunity to cheat for them, but he chose not to, and he sided with the acclaimed. They're his sons. I can't give you anything else besides they're his sons. What what other what other deep seated reason would they have to he would be naturally inclined to side with his son I would think be naturally inclined to side with his sons. I agree. Just the fact of him not doing it yet. I agree, but that opportunity's already passed. What do you mean? He can't suddenly be like, Oh yeah, I want to side with my sons because they're to the- because he's proud to the, see them as the tag title. I'm tag so champions. proud of you guys. And he wants to be beside them. There's easily something but you can bullshit and make up. And, and but I wasn't proud of you uh, the last like six weeks when you were the tag champions, but I was still coming out with the acclaimed. I and, mean, people change, I guess. I understand story-wise it doesn't make any sense, but uh, like I said, it's That's what I'm saying. If it doesn't 
If for, it doesn't make sense story wise, it takes me completely out of the moment. It's circumstantial for for if they continue to fight him. I understand your st- your story stiffy is gone if yeah. that's if that's the yeah. case. You're uh, and, I, and I've turned said this, off emotionally. And I've said this from the from the beginning. I feel like they're selling way too much acclaimed merch to fucking yeah. like have him turn. Well, like, that's why that was my main thing, but behind him not turning was I was like, you. They're probably making money hand over fist with all the all the acclaim merch. Well, that's why I was saying that if they keep going with it, because they could keep on milking this thing. Although I could see them having the acclaim leave for a little bit and come back, or just show up occasionally, and people would still love it. Um, it could go either way. Like I don't know where they want to go with that. Yeah. I guess it could also be a Chris Jericho situation. Like they're reading the room and realizing that, like, let's cut this off before it turns, like, b- or cut cut it off before it gets to the point of like not entertaining. Yeah. Which like Chris Jericho is usually not all the time, but usually is very good at like reading a room, and being like, it's time to move on to the next thing. And that's the thing too with with what you said. You said it'd be too it'd be too late to do that now. But I feel like that was the thing where, like, in in the concept of things, if Billy Gunn does betray them, that means Daddy S is that whole concept is gone. So it's like, how far do we keep doing this before I go? Okay, I'm gonna go back to my kids, and people are done with the whole Daddy S stuff. You know what I mean? Like yeah. what you just said with the reading a room, it's just like people are tired of the Daddy S stuff. Once we do it, you can't undo it. You can't even go back to the acclaim. So right when you figure it out, when you're going to do it, try to milk it as much as you can, and then go. Okay, yeah. I think it's time to, I to do, betray I, these guys. I do agree with you that it is is probably a decision as to whether they're going to continue with the acclaimed and the guns. Yeah. If if he turns on them, then they can continue. If he doesn't, then like, but let's do move we on to the do next we scene. see any way that the guns don't win this match? Personally, no. I think the guns win. I don't think it makes sense for any other team to win. Would I like Dan Nelson and Orange to win? Absolutely. But okay, if so, I were to, I would say of the four teams in the match, they were the least likely to walk out with the tag titles. Yes. Would I want them to? They were the most likely. They're the most favorited for me to win, but they're the least likely to win. Yep. 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 So there's a sixty man Iron Man match. Sixty men. Sixty man. Sixty man Iron Man match. That's what you I'm said. I'm gonna stay with it. I'm sticking with it. 60 man Iron Man match. It was going to be 60 men. The whole locker room's coming the whole out. Whole locker room. By the way, a quick side note, and it's going to be real quick. Peter Avalon, great job the other night. Great I, job. I loved it till the end. Yeah. It. I was like, oh shit, they're making Peter Avalon look kind of like legit against Jericho. And then he hit one move and pinned him. And it wasn't even the Judas effect. And I was like, wow, they made Peter Avalon look like a schmuck. <laughs> I think him without the long hair, I think he looks a lot cooler. Oh, I agree. He definitely was a lot better uh, on Wednesday night. Um, I think if, I think if the match would have been able to go like three more minutes, or if they had taken like two minutes of his offense and turned it into more of like Jericho beat, like he comes out flurry, Jericho's off put, but then Jericho comes back, give Jericho like a minute or two of offense, then he flurries again, and Jericho hits the code breaker to win. Would yeah. have been better, like, um. They were starting the match, and I was and I was like, "Wow, they're making Peter Avalon look really strong and really good." And then he hit him with one move and beat him, and I was like, "Wow, they made Peter Avalon look like a schmuck." <laughs> no, I think they did. I think they did. They did good to to show the potential that they could make him someone pretty cool. Yeah, but yeah. So uh, MJF versus Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, whatever. Um, obviously, we both have the same opinion on who's going to win. MJF. MJF. Yeah. I didn't know we were doing it. Sorry. Oh. I blew it. You blew it. So do you feel, and I wanted to get to the point of the big matter of revolution. Do you find this pay-per-view to be somewhat lackluster in the build? In the build. The match looks, Certain, good. Matches look good, but the build for some of these matches feel kind Oh, the of, build for some of the matches? Yes. Um, the build for other matches? No. Texas Death, awesome build. Yeah, but that was like a um, week before the event. That was like week week before this pay per view coming out. The announcement, but they've been like fighting. No, I mean for like, the, like not not the announcement of it. I mean like the build up, like that fucking John Moxley promo got me into it. Oh, but well, like I'm I'm looking at it from an overall story. Like they've like this has been yeah. going for months. That's um, true. So like way back to when Moxley was the champion and he knocked him out. <laughs> yeah. 
So I'm what, looking at it from that perspective. Sorry. No, I get not, that. Not the fact that they announced it and then Moxley told was a killer promo. So I'm gonna put on my uh, tinfoil hat and say, do we have Punk come back Sunday night? No. No. You don't think he would? Nope. I'm not getting my hopes up that he's ever coming back. <laughs> if he comes back, will I be excited? Yes. Will it be awesome? Probably. Um, but you think it's going to be If people keep asking me, if 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 someone were to ask me, like, do you think he's going to show up? No. no? Like, I'm not even letting my hopes get up to him possibly showing up. I just feel like this... I feel like a lot of the times when they have something big happen, they kind of divert attention to the main thing that's going on. And I feel like they're kind of just like phoning it in in the way they build this thing up. Yeah. And I, I feel like I, there's a lot more ha- happening. Sorry, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. No, but ahead. I should also say, if Punk comes back, he's not anywhere fucking near Hangman Page or the Elite. As far... What do you mean? Like, just in general, in being general. around them? Uh, I mean, like, he's not coming back to do anything in or after the Texas Death Match or the Trios Match. No, like, I just mean not for MJF. Oh, you're talking about MJF? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, mean, like, coming out that, like, at the last minute of the night and have everyone go, oh, shit. Yeah. Because that was the only way I could see him coming in. Other than that, like, who's he going to... You're not going to have him come in mid... You know, uh, you're not going to have him come in after Woodlow versus Samoa Joe and go, I want that TNT title. Like, that's such a downgrade. I feel like have him do that. Even if he loses to MJF, loses the title shot, whatever, to him, bring him down, have someone else go for it, and he'll start doing normal stuff with other people. Yeah. I don't. I don't think Punk comes back. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's weird. I don't think so. It's a weird kind of feeling that I have, where I'm like, I could see them doing it just because no one's expecting it, but at the same time, I'm like, yeah, probably not. Probably not ready yet. Yep. I I will say this. Um, if he comes back, he's 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 reconciled with the people that he fought with. I think correct. Because he's correct. not going to come back if he's not okay with them now. Yeah. I will say, um, putting on my like crazy prediction hat. Your tinfoil hat? My tinfoil hat. Um, because their next pay per view is double or nothing. Uh who does MJF fight? I'm gonna say Adam Cole Bebe. You think so? I think so. He said he's starting again in March. So I totally and he's clearly gonna be a huge baby face. Yeah, he's already so I foresee him going on like a big like a bunch of match win streak and then Facing MJF. I think it makes sense. Other than that, maybe Hangman Page. Those are really the only ones that I feel like I could see. Yeah, I mean, Adam Cole would be a good one. Yeah, I think Adam Cole is like such a good one. Um, and I think it, I think the timing makes sense. He comes back, he's winning some matches, and then like in April, he's like, I want the world championship or something. Oh, Kibbles is swaying back. He's and like forth, swaying like. back and forth. Part of it's because no, I'm you swinging are, my chair. You are swaying back and forth. Yeah. Part of it's because I'm swinging my chair. Yeah, but like you were like, your actual oh, body was moving, not um, the chair. <laughs> the chair was moving along with you, but um, yeah, I just I, I'm when I think of Adam Cole now, I think of the All Access show, and I'm like, do I really want to watch that? I will. I, I will I watch say, it. I should. I sh- I should rephrase. I will watch at least the first episode to see if it's <laughs> to see if I like it. Do we? <sighs> but you see, that's also another reason why I think like maybe like Adam Cole because like if Adam Cole is going to be a focal point of the All Access show, and that show starts in March and will run for a couple weeks, does it then make sense that Adam Cole is like the next guy to fight for the championship? Maybe because then through because through not only AEW so through AEW you have him like the story of him wrestling and getting wins and, and trying to get ready to go for the championship then during the all access show you have like all of the backstage stuff around his injury and how he came back from the injury and how he thought his career was over and all like the scary stuff that he's been through and then like that's like your big story going into into double or nothing is like can Adam Cole win the championship because coming back from this injury and blah 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 and that gives something for MJF to like play off of and with with all access you do care about this you want to watch this right now yeah could could we have just done a third show or do you think what that's do you too mean, much what do you mean a third show 
a rampage, a dynamite. Um, uh, uh, I think if you were to do another one of those shows, a cyanide. That's cyanide. third show is called something cool. Um, a word that means nothing. I don't think it. I don't mean something, but you know what I mean. Here's here. No, I think if you were to. <laughs> here, so here's the thing. No, right? no, no I just you stumbling and going. No, no, never well, mind. If it, what are you going to do? A third show, which is then technically your fifth show, because you have dark and elevation that you do every week. Yeah. Um, and already like, like numbers for rampage aren't that great. Like no, I mean it's also in a really bad time slot. They still, I mean, they Fridays also don't do anything 10. on it. Well, that's the thing. They um they have proven time and time again that if you're going to put a big match on with two, again with two with superstars, the audience cares about, and not just like Orange Cassidy is going to be in action. Like no, like Orange Cassidy versus like John Moxley. Like a big name matchup, they do good numbers. That's a big name matchup. Yeah, they do good numbers when they do that, but like, they just they can't seem to consistently do that on Fridays. Um, I like if they had even gone to um, Warner Brothers to pitch a third show that was going to be just another wrestling show. Like, I honestly think they'd get told no. Yeah, I don't think they bring in enough viewers on their two shows right now. To do a third show. I guess you're right. And I don't think... Uh, also, I don't think it makes sense to do a third show now that they just started up ROH. Um, I think All Access will be a good caveat to it. Mm, yes, caveat. And again, I think it's actually a really good gateway to get... It, it's actually probably a really good gateway to get to an MJF Adam Cole main event of of double or nothing like if adam cole is going to be a focal of that show then you push adam cole Mm -hmm. Um, so the rundown we'll see we'll see uh the rundown the rundown the good movie with the rock by the way yeah the buy-in the buy-in is luchador lucha Lucha brothers and mark briscoe uh yes okay jungle boy jack perry versus christian cage uh, I'm gonna go Jungle Boy. I'm gonna go Jungle Boy as well. Chris Jericho, Ricky Starks. This one I'm back and forth on. Um, they can't both win. I know. <laughs> that's that's the way your face was. You're can't like, can't they both win? Because you're right. Why can't they just both win? Why can't they? Why both can't just everybody win? be a winner? They'll just pin each other at the same time. <laughs> at the same time. That has happened. That has happened. Unfortunately, <laughs> we've done I'm that. I think. Say. <laughs> Ricky Starks. Ricky Starks, and then... Yeah, Ricky Starks. Yeah, I'll go Ricky Starks. All right, women's triple threat. Soraya. I also was going to go with Soraya. Um, Texas Deathmatch. I'm going to go with Hangman. Yeah, Hangman. The trio's titles... We already both said. Easily. I will. I will also say the Texas Death. I think is the match that I'm most not sure who wins on out of this whole card. Um, sorry. Yes, That's the fine. elite. Excuse me. Uh, the TNT title. I'm gonna say Wardlow. <laughs> yeah, Wardlow. All right, the World Heavyweight Tag Team title or the World Tag Team title. So I say heavyweight. Yeah, why did you say heavyweight? I don't know. The acclaimed. I mean, uh, the guns. Why I say the acclaimed? <laughs> why did you say the acclaimed? Because I want them to win, but the, I, they probably won't. Yeah, nope. The guns. It's a multi-team match, so the guns can win without pinning the acclaimed. In the fact, guns. they'll probably pin Danhausen. Yeah, the guns win. Wait, should we? T- should we? <laughs> who should we say who gets pinned? Who? No, we're definitely no, no, no. We know Danhausen is going to get pinned, but who, who pins, pins Danhausen? Danhausen? I'm gonna go Austin. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Colton. All right. And if it's some other team, it's probably you know. Never, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. What if Orange pins Danhausen? Can he do and that? And they win the title. Is that I'm allowed? I'm sure you could do that. Didn't the New Day try to do that they once? They did. <laughs> so did uh, the New Age Outlaws. I remember that. You're right. Mm-hmm. I do remember that. Um, and the sixty man, sixty man Iron Man match. MJF. MJF, of course, yes. So here's an idea. Do we think MJF purposefully gets a disqualification early on? Would that give Daniel Bryan a point? Yes. 
Maybe. But remember, uh, I forget well, he did you know he, how he wouldn't get it would be throwing him through a table because that doesn't count. That do, apparently, it's not a disqualification. <laughs> we can't AEW. get into that. You I have was to, like, what the fuck you, is happening on this you show? You have to leave eventually, and you can't. we can't go into that fucking can of, can of worms. Also, what are those referees doing in that battle royal? There are so many people around ringside not getting in the ring. Fucking helping other people going not get under into the, the ring, ring, going under the ring, pulling people out of the ring, going these, under the bottom rope. These getting referees out. suck. Um, but Tony he, Khan, get your shit in order. Here's my because I I feel like to tease something for the future, someone will come out at the end of the Iron Man match, whether it's um someone like Ricky Starks, someone like I don't know Hangman. Two crazy ideas, which would be fun for me, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. would be CM Punk coming mm-hmm, out, mm-hmm. or or the match ends, the lights go out, and Malachi Black is just in the ring. Because MJF versus Malachi Black would be crazy fun to mess with. Yep. Because he can't do the whole... You can't fuck with someone who is just doing stuff like... He, It'd be like the Undertaker versus Ric Flair. It'd be like, oh, we'll just have this guy go attack him. He's like, well, he just disappeared out of nowhere. I don't know where he went. Like that <laughs> yeah. kind of concept. Like just that concept of having that. The problem is, is that the House of Black would get in the way of that because you have the underdog concept different because you have fucking Brody King and uh, uh, what the fuck's his name? Buddy Matthews. I was going to just say, uh, uh, yeah, I was going to say Matthews because I was thinking like him from uh, WB. It was Murphy. Murphy, yeah. Um, so I, I think that would be so much cooler than CM Punk, but I doubt it as just as much as CM Punk. Yeah, I think that would be really cool. I think the reason why it doesn't work is because he's like, I'm going to come out and challenge or get in your face about the world championship after, just I, just, scare him. after I just lost the truth. Just, just championship. scare him a little bit. Um, like he doesn't, he doesn't have thing. momentum. Yeah, I guess so. I could see, like, I could see them doing that. So here's the thing: if they were to do that, it would make more sense if they did it the next, ne- next night, the on the following dynamite, because then it's not like I just lost earlier in the night and here I am to like, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah, like you that gotta let the sense. people not. Yeah, you gotta like not kind of interlinked. I just think that next matchup would be fun, too. I think... No, I agree with you. I think it'd be awesome. Ricky, Hangman, or or Malachi Black. Well, see, he just did Ricky. He just did Ricky. He He did do Ricky. Ricky. Fuck! He was so hot at the time, and they never really had him fight. Well, Well, that was one reason why I thought maybe Jericho wins the match, because, like, Ricky wins, what does he do next? I really don't want to see Jericho versus MJF again. No. Well, yeah. And I don't think they do it, because they're both heels. Well, I'm just saying, like, in general, that who's next? I agree with you. I mean, they've got some options. Um, Malachi Black, hang, hang, if a, Hangman Page wins the championship, he's another logical step. Um, I think, I, I think Adam Cole is is a is a yeah, but that's a little bit time. highly possible. That's for the next pay per view, I think. Right. Well, we'll find out tonight. Tonight, tonight. So, thank you for listening. Uh, as always, Kibble says. Do the needful. And we appreciate you for listening. We'll see you guys next time. Oh, and enjoy Revolution. Yeah. But yeah, I get what you mean. But that's what that's what made me think like, oh shit, maybe he's really hurt. Because like he's he would like for for it to be Corey Graves saying that, I was like, maybe something legitimately is up. Because I knew I knew 